Okay, Twisted Sprite, let me tell you how the unemployment rate is at an all-time low and the economy is booming, yet everyone is looking for a job. Because the unemployment rate is not accurate. When they tell you that it's 3.7%, they're taking everyone that is underemployed. Do you know, underemployed, working one part-time job, two part-time jobs, three part-time jobs to make ends meet, they're all employed. So they can say that number. If you go look up the adjusted unemployment rate, when they add in underemployment, it's up over 7%. And historically, recessions are at 5%. So you are 100% correct. They are playing with the numbers. Now let's also talk about, and please go Google search this, fact check me folks, that they're calling 2023 the year that the recession didn't happen. Everyone predicted, because there were massive layoffs, to give you an idea, hundreds of thousands of tech layoffs. And generally when the tech industry has massive layoffs, everything crumbles. But people kept spending money. And so inflation didn't reduce. And the housing market, yeah, nobody's going anywhere because everybody's locked into a 3% mortgage. So what's happening right now, based on what I see as a job search career coach, you got people that are unemployed, working two or three part-time jobs, to hold on to a 3% mortgage, that there's a really good chance they're gonna lose because they can't sell that house and go someplace else. Rents are too high and actual um, mortgages now are what, 7%? So what are they gonna do? They're gonna try to hang on to this 3% mortgage, work two or three jobs, can't make ends meet, draining their savings, draining their 401k, and eventually we're gonna see foreclosures, okay? This year is going to be hard. 2024, what should have happened in 2023 is likely going to happen in 2024. And we know this because the amount of people looking for work. Everyone's looking for new, better paying jobs. And the sad thing is most people don't know how to look for work properly. So their job searcher is going to take a very long time. You know, it's usually six months in to unemployment or underemployment before somebody realizes that the way they're applying for work isn't working. And I see that all the time. I'm a 20 year career coaching veteran. They then come to me and they find out they weren't really looking for work. So it's ugly and it's gonna be ugly in 2024. But can I be honest? I just want it over with. I want the hit, right? I was here for 2008. I just want it over with because once companies get through this, right now companies are holding back on hiring and they're laying off, right? They're, they're nervous. Once they get through the cuts and they're done, they're done being that way, then they start to hire again. Then they start to expand. Also, when you have this many layoffs, a lot of really smart people start their own companies. The next unicorn is already out there. So I went through this. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I just want 2024 to hit hard, be done, because I will be here helping every single person who needs a new, better paying job, pick up the pieces and learn how to go get it. Because right now, you're right. This is, this is not accurate. And yet that's what they're telling us. So if you want the truth and you want to learn how to get a job regardless of the market, stay here with me. You can help me help 10 million people get new better paying jobs by liking and following me here and posting your comments and questions. Let's do this together, okay? Because I'm frustrated too. And I, I know what's coming. I've been doing this for 20 years and I hate seeing people like this. And this stuff, this just confuses people even more and makes them feel bad about themselves. Like, why can't I get a job, right? because the data isn't accurate. So let's speak the truth here and let's get your results, okay? Thank you for sharing. Good luck, go get them.